Hey, Dustin Tibbetts here, financial advisor with Jazz Wealth Managers. How you doing today? Hope you're having a good day and happy earnings season, by the way. It is earnings season or getting almost into it by now. Uh, rather interesting things we could share with you. There's a million different things we could analyze. Uh, we do a lot of this on our research site, by the way, if you want to check it out. Jazzwealth.com forward slash research is where you can go. Uh, it's not really a stock picking sort of membership site, but it's more about uh, teaching you how things are upcoming, statistics, uh, uh, historical market statistics and forward performance and everything. Uh, we tend to get a little geeky on there. So if you can't join us here at Jazz Wealth and you just want to learn a little bit more, it's 13 bucks a month, 14 bucks a month. You can go to jazzwealth.com forward slash research to go over there. But today I want to share, oh, and I'll put the link in the description or something. I'm supposed to do that, right? Don't people, YouTubers do that? Uh, today I want to share with you um, the some of the stats revolving around analyst ratings. Um, so if you're not familiar, analysts, uh, they analyze either one stock or a sector, and their job is to just be on top of everything that's going on. And so as earnings season approaches, typically about four we weeks ahead of time, they start revising their expectations, right? The world is a fluid moving place. They try to start saying, we think they're going to do better than earnings, worse than earnings. They're selling less jeans. They're selling more widgets or whatever, and they raise or lower their expectations. Well, it kind of a fun uh, analysis Wall Street likes to do is to see how the analysts do relative to the stock market performance. Now, this naturally has nothing to do with the short-term performance, but it's kind of interesting and it's a rather contrarian study if you're interested in it. We're going to take it one extra step further today because you've probably already seen things like this. So here we go. Let's take a look. Uh, it, we've got earnings season coming up here. What you're going to see on the chart uh, on the screen there is Rather than talk about the market as a whole, I'm going to break it down by sector. We're currently in a stock pickers market. You know that if you watch the closing beat at five o'clock on our YouTube channel, shameless plug. Uh, but anyways, uh, we want to break it down by sector because you may be more heavily weighted to tech or something right now based on your uh, individual uh, investments. Um, well, as a whole, analysts are raising, they're becoming more positive on earnings expectations. So they are becoming more bullish, we'll say, although that's not how you say it, uh, they're becoming more positive to the tune of 11%, meaning on the overall stock market, they're more positive than negative by about 11%. They've raised their estimates on more stocks than they've lowered estimates on more stocks. All right. So that's what you got there. But uh, like I said, rather than pick on them, let's go through each individual sector and show you the performance. So what we have here is uh, the earnings season performance on a percentage basis average uh, looking back just about through 2009. So we're looking through the last bull market to show when they had some good expectations and bad expectations. We also then put how often the sector was positive or not uh, throughout that. So what you can see is communication services, for example, averages a slight decline during earnings season, the, the window of earnings season, and it's only positive 49% of the time. Not really that good. So as a whole, if you don't care what the analysts think and you're looking at the stock market sector in particular, you go, well, maybe communication services is not where I want to be. Maybe I want to take a look and see if that's something. Historically, the odds are against me, right? Best performing area technology, and right now it happens to be the best performing area, so this could change. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, technology averages a, the biggest gain out of all the sectors and is positive the most amount of times through earnings season. Keep in mind what sector led this market higher through the entire last bull market. And then we did the S&P 1500, not the S&P 500, so that we can include more data, a lot smaller companies as well, and include some names that are traded on the NASDAQ as well. So this is if you don't care what the analysts think. Now we're going to take it a step further and we're going to say, what if the if we want to lean based on the analyst? So analysts are leaning positive right now. So we'll start with negative. So if we look at the market sector performance, when analysts are revising down, right, like last quarter, last quarter analysts said, we just don't think this is going to be good. The virus is out there, blah, blah, blah. They think that uh, earnings performance was going to be weaker than expected. Well, as you can see, if we look through any uh, quarter where analysts revised lower their estimates, every sector was positive. So it's kind of a contrarian indicator, right? And actually, over the long term, it is a contrarian indicator. When analysts are negative, the market tends to be positive. You notice how communication services went positive there and is positive more often when the analysts are negative overall. 
So if we look through this earnings season, by the way, I'm oh, sorry, last earnings season, analysts were negative to the tune of 76%. Right now they're positive by 11%, meaning they're raising more estimates than lowering. Last earnings season, they lowered a whole lot more estimates than they did raise, and I can't blame them. Uh, but the stock market was actually higher by about 6%, so a little bit off there. Um, so anyways, these are the individual sectors there. Let's take it a step further and talk about this earnings season coming up uh, because analysts are now you know, mostly positive to the tune of 11%. When analysts are positive, more sectors actually finish negative there. So not a good sign if you are thinking you want to be bullish through this earnings season, given that analysts are uh, leaning negative there, uh, or leaning positive. Anyways, communication services averages a decline of 2.3% not positive very often when analysts are positive. And in fact, you can look through the different sector performance as well as the market and see that when analysts are positive, the market tends to be lower. It's very rarely positive over the last 11 years now. And if you have uh, uh, positions in industrials, healthcare, energy, communication services, this would be like your Facebook, Verizon, things like that. Uh, materials, you can see that the odds are starting to stack against you when analysts go positive. Not really a good sign. So just kind of a quick overview to share that with you. We'll follow up with this video just for fun. We'll, we'll come back and see how did each sector do through earnings season. Someone remind me if I forget. And we'll rank the uh, current analyst positive performance with the historical sector performance to what actually happened. Just for fun. We'll come back and check it out. Hey, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you joining us here today. Uh, if, you, if I helped you in some way, hit the subscribe button. Check out our research page where we do expand on more things like this. Jazzwealth.com forward slash research. Also in the link below. And we'll see you later for the closing beat live at five o'clock every day. We'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Why should you choose Jazz Wealth as your retirement or long-term investing service? Our portfolios are managed by us, not some faceless mutual fund manager. Our private classes will teach you everything about investing and getting your dough straight. Best of all, our fiduciary standard means your best interest comes before ours.